Do you find that you suck at being a cat? Or perhaps suck at fishing? If either of these are true, then you can fix those problems here at How to Catch All the Large Fish in Cat Goes Fishing. In order to catch any large fish, you need to cast a medium fish in order to get a large bait. The first fish on our list is the cowfish. And this fish can be found towards the shore, and all you really have to do is float a bait near its face. It's really easy to catch. Uh, as you can see here, it doesn't really fight at all, so that shouldn't be an issue. The next fish is the seraph, and this fish is really annoying if you're not actually trying to catch it. It's really fast and it will attack your bait at random times. Um, in order to catch him, he goes in a circular motion, so if you're having difficulty, just pull the line while he's going towards you and then let go while he's going away. The next fish is the catfin. You can generally find these guys away from the shore. They'll be a little bit deep, sometimes they'll rise up. As long as you can avoid the scissors and the sourfish, you shouldn't have too many difficulties catching this guy because he tires out pretty quickly. The next fish is the turgeon, and this guy you can find him chasing a sibilfin around. Sometimes it's hard to get him away from the sibilfin because the sibilfin will usually go for your bait first. Um, usually, as you can see, that turgeon down there, if you catch the sibilfin first, they'll stop moving around like at all, so it'll be a lot easier to catch them. Now these guys get really aggressive once you get near the surface, like they'll fight you a lot. Uh, you can catch them during the night, and if you do, then they won't fight you at all. Uh, if you do decide to catch them during the day, it'll be significantly more difficult, but it's still completely possible even with uh, early gear. Next fish is the brimble, which you can find right next to the shore. They'll be moving vertically in the depths. If you try to catch one of these guys normally, you're going to notice it's going to take a really long time and it's not really going to be worth the effort. But if you use this super secret tip that I totally found myself and did not read the description because it does not tell you, you'll know that if you just let them sink really, really deep, they'll get dizzy and then after that they're not going to fight you and it'll be really, really easy to catch them. Now the next fish is the Georgian. This guy is usually found in the depths. He will very randomly go to the surface for no good reason. Uh, if you catch him, once you, well, once you hook him, he, he's not an issue. He, he isn't. Don't worry about him. The next fish is the Feelish. He's very similar to the Seraph. Usually during the day, he'll be towards the depths. At night, he'll come out. Um, and he will absolutely mob your lure. Um, he goes after it very quickly. Uh, catching him may take a bit of effort, but you sh it shouldn't be too difficult. Now the next fish is a trumble, and this guy really isn't a problem. He's towards the depths, all you have to do is hook him. Uh, he doesn't really move much, and once you hook him, he doesn't fight you at all. He's very easy to catch, easy money. The bagu is the bane of my existence. I hate this fish. Once they get a lock on your alert, they will not stop chasing it. So once they see a they they just follow your alert. It, they're really annoying, and once you catch them, they're not easy to catch at all. They will fight you a lot, it's going to take some patience in order to get this guy. Obviously, the anglerfish you can find at the bottom of the ocean. Um, they're very easy to catch, very easy to notice where they are, even if you have a light, because they have their own light. Once you hook them, they're not going to fight you. Very, very simple. At night, sometimes they'll come out a little towards more of the surface, but it really isn't even an issue to catch them. Now the bonefish is actually kind of difficult to catch. I recommend using some bomb stacks and detonators so that you can blow up a bomb near them because all you have to do, you don't need those, you just need to blow up a bomb near the bonefish. After that it'll wake them up and they'll be able to hook onto your bait. Catching them is a bit difficult but uh, it shouldn't be impossible. Now the ray is the edgiest mother effort you're ever going to see on this game. If you see a ray during the daytime it will be creepy as hell. As you can see they'll sit at the bottom right here and they will do nothing. They will just stare at you, they will not bite your look hook, they will not do anything, they will just look at you. And it's creepy. I don't like looking at them. Please. Please don't hurt me. And nothing you do is gonna work, you're not gonna be able to catch them here. If you want to catch a ray, you're gonna have to wait during the night where they'll come up. They're very slow and they don't fight you at all once you hook them, so... Once you get them, they are no problem whatsoever. The Torby is the last fish, as you can see he's extremely valuable. In order to catch him, he'll be towards the edge of the ocean, surrounded by a bunch of mustard fish, so it'll be recommended that you take a bomb with you in order to clear those. Now the first time you catch the Torby, the second one's going to circle around it and the first Torby is going to fight you a lot. However, you'll notice that the second time around, if it's within the same time period, if it's just that Torby, it's not going to fight at all. And this is because if there are two Torbies and you catch both of them within the same relative time period and then sell them, 
you'll notice that the torbies will go extinct and you can't catch anymore. So make sure you don't do that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, hopefully this guy gave you a little bit of clarification on how to catch a couple of these fish. If not, tell me the video sucked and you hated it. I don't care. Either way, um, you guys have a nice day.